Hey guys, back here with Tua for another video. Uh, today I wanted to talk about just things to expect when having your puppy. Um, we've had him for about two months now. And I just wanted you guys to understand some of the things uh, that would be expected out of you from your dog. That uh, you should expect from your dog. Just everything like that, going over the first couple of months with him, just basically talking with you guys about things that we've gone through, things that we've noticed. Some things are just funny, dumb things, and some things are more serious. Um, and again, these are just my personal experiences with him. Every dog is completely different, whether they're the same breed or different breeds altogether. So a lot of these are gonna be just puppy stuff in general, what to expect the first couple months that you have them home. And a lot of them are gonna be more um, bull mastiff related. Like the first thing that I wanna to talk to you about. The first thing that you guys should expect having a bull mastiff in your house as a puppy for the first couple months is a lot of snoring. He sleeps in his crate next to our bed at night and I'm a pretty light sleeper and he actually wakes me up from time to time with his snoring. It's not like he snores all night long, but he definitely goes for, you know, 5, 10, 15 minute times when it's pretty hard. It's, <laughs> it's kind of funny, but uh, it's pretty crazy. Even when he takes a nap during the day, a lot of the time he'll be snoring and he's snoring loud enough that you can pretty much hear it from across the house if the house is really quiet and you don't have a TV or radio on or anything like that. So on the on a lighter note and kind of funnier note, expect a lot of snoring and I'm sure it's only going to get louder and more often the older that he gets. I can only imagine what it's going to be like when he's a year or two. The second thing that you guys need to expect is a lot of chewing. As you can see in a lot of these videos that I do, when I have him sitting here with me, I have him chewing. It's pretty much his favorite thing to do right now since he's teething. Like I said in that last video, he's finally starting to lose some of his puppy teeth, so at least we're, we're making progress here. But it's, uh, it's just a puppy thing in general. It's not just a bull mastiff thing. They chew and they chew 24-7. And they need to with their teeth. It's just like little little, uh, little human babies. Uh, but you, you definitely have to get, get used to making sure everything's cleaned up off the floor. Anything that is of anything of value to you whatsoever, get it off the floor or it might get chewed up. Anything from, if you have kids, their toys, uh, your furniture, your shoes, Pretty much anything that they could possibly get at, if you're not watching them like a hawk, they're going to get at. He'll have like 10 toys spread throughout the floor, and one of our kids comes in and nonchalantly will drop a toy and move on to something else, and he finds it like that. Like, it's crazy. It, it's like he does radar for it. It's ridiculous. So expect a lot of chewing, which kind of brings me to my next point, which is... Expect to change your life to suit them. Not real crazy changing your life, but simple things like that. Like if, if you used to just leave your shoes in a certain area, you might have to pick a different area for your shoes if you're not going to watch your dog like a hawk 24-7. Or if you're lenient with your kids leaving toys on the ground. Well, that's not really going to be an option anymore unless you're watching your dog like a hawk 24-7. Because they're going to find it. They're going to chew on it. They're puppies. That's what they do. Um, another thing that you'll have to do to kind of change your life is you're going to have to change your daily routine a little bit, especially when they're potty training. You're going to have to come home from work, at least at lunch, to let them out to go potty. Um, if you can afford to, depending on what your job is, come home more. I know a lot of people are working from home now, so in the last year it would have actually been a good time to get a puppy because you could be home more with them. And in the beginning, especially the first couple months here during potty training and all that, it's really good to let them out more um, just so they get, they get used to going on those potty breaks when they can't hold it as long. Uh, another thing would be you're going to have to put up some gates in your house. 
not necessarily, but if you want to not have them in their crate and still have them out, but there's certain certain things or certain areas you don't want to get them to that a door, you know, you can't just close a door or anything like that. You're going to have to get some gates. Uh, luckily enough, we have a lot of gates because my wife does home daycare. So we just have a lot of movable kid gates. But that's something to think about also. To it. Come on. Uh, and another thing as far as like changing your lifestyle goes and kind of my next point is plan on getting out a lot more, getting out of the house a lot more. If you don't already, but if you do already, uh, plan on seeing, you know, different settings or different places, uh, maybe pet stores that you never went to if this would be your only dog. Uh, going for lots of walks, if you didn't already go for walks or runs or something like that. Possibly dog parks. I've talked about in the past how I'm not necessarily for or against dog parks, but just be very careful when you're going because there's lots of issues with them. And just a lot of different stores that allow dogs. Ones that you wouldn't think of, uh, big chain ones, hardware stores, and things like that. Um, if you don't frequent those, you probably will be now because you're going to be wanting to socialize your dog and all that's going to be for socializing. Uh, lastly, the thing that I would say and kind of the most serious one to consider when, when you are getting a dog is uh, the money that you're going to spend and especially in the first month or two with those initial vet visits. And if anything goes wrong, if they end up getting worms or like he had a UTI so he had to buy some antibiotics, it wasn't that expensive. And I actually made a video about all the expenses, everything that we spent on him in the first month. So if you haven't seen that one, go ahead and check that out. And I go over literally everything that we had spent on him in the first month of owning him. And uh, add it all up and show you what, what it was. But that's something that is probably the one thing that you guys are going to have to think about the most is can you financially afford the Mastiff because the bull Mastiff because they are expensive unless you do a rescue or something and the bigger the dog the bigger the, the vet bill in general so you'll have to do that vet right away and then unless something goes wrong like an unexpected sickness or injury or something like that you you won't have to see him again after the initial you know first couple months of visits but definitely something to think about I'll, I mean, all the impulse buys you can do for your dog, if you see something that you want them to have, uh, equipment like crates and, and beds and things like that, uh, just, just plan on spending money and plan on at least budgeting a little bit for it so that you don't end up spending too much. But that's definitely something that I would say is very important to think about because if you can't afford the puppy... Don't uh, don't jump into it. At least try and save up and and plan on on how much you'll spend and stuff. And I hope this channel helps with that because I'm I'm logging everything that we spend on him and I'll be sharing that with you guys. But at the end of the day, puppies can be a huge lifestyle change, especially if you're not used to them. I've had dogs all my life, so I I couldn't really picture myself not having a dog. Uh, but. They, you, you fall into it pretty quick. It's like when you have a kid. It's a huge lifestyle change right away, but you, it's kind of adapt or die. You just, you fall into it pretty quick, and it's not too big a deal, but it definitely is a lifestyle change, so it's something that you guys need to think about. Um, a lot of little things, some big things, but other than that, that's, that's kind of all I have for what to expect. Man, he is wild right now, <laughs> but... Um, in those first couple months, it's just going to be a lot of uh, getting to know him, him getting to know you and mainly your rules of the house, and him acting like a little puppy or a little kid. He's, he's not going to listen all the time. That's why you have to be consistent. And that's what he's going to expect out of you, is being a consistent leader. You have to lay the law down, and you have to tell him what is and isn't okay so that he understands. So I hope this video helps you guys out with just some just some basic things on what to expect in the first couple months of owning your bull mastiff or or dogs in general and uh we'll do another one here soon guys thanks for watching